good morning children so today onwards i am handling your social studies the subject so in today's class we are going to learn we are going to learn about the northern mountains so we all know that uh, there are uh, four directions so which are they there are four directions of uh, east uh, west uh, north and uh, south the mountains uh, which we can see and the north uh, direction that mountains we call the uh, northern mountains so let's come we we'll study about the northern mountains
in more in a northern mountains we can see three parallel ranges so which is the first one the first one is the greater himalayas the greater himalayas the greater himalayas or himali the first one is the greater himalayas or himali and the second one is the lesser himalayas the lesser himalayas or himachal and the third one is the outer himalayas outer himalayas or shivali so three parallel ranges are the greater himalayas or himali and the second one is the lesser himalayas or himachal and the third one is the outer glacier means a river of ice glacier means a river of ice so several glaciers originate from these mountain these mountain means a himalaya mountains or a northern mountains many rivers such as ganga and amuna so ganga and yamuna rivers originate from the originate from the himalayas mountains or northern mountains so mount everest is the highest peak of the himalayas so in all the himalayas mount everest is the highest peak and its height is 8850 meters mount highest peak mount everest remember this one it is a very important which is the highest peak in the himalaya so mount everest is the highest peak the himalayas not only in himalayas in all the mountains all over the world it is the highest peak highest peak of himalayas so mount everest is the highest peak in the himalayas or in all over the world it is the highest peak which one mount everest so mount everest is the highest peak in all over the world and its height is its height is 8850 meters 8850 